Hey, welcome back to Ramble On. We received our staysail, jib, and mainsail uh, from the sailmaker, and I need to go out and test fit it uh, to make sure the foot length is correct and everything. But I can't raise the sail until we get the strong track. Tides Marine sent us a sample segment based on some preliminary measurements of the luff track that runs up the mast. I was doing a little fitting yesterday and it looks like the measurement for the gauging might be off a little bit. The track has a slight bow to it just naturally because it comes on a roll. I got some feeler gauges from the shop and I'm going to check and see how much we are off as far as uh, fitting tightly. They want you to fit tightly in the groove and this thing actually it does have a little side to side play as well as in and out from the uh, from the left groove. I also requested from Tides they will send you a free set of discs that for measuring your slot if you want to apply the strong track system to your boat. So I went ahead and ordered up an extra set of discs and I got to email my sailmaker and let him know how far off we are as far as uh, thousandths of an inch or decimals of a millimeter. Um, so I'm going to go outside right now and uh, check that out. So when we had the sails measured up, we had, I had to, uh, along with that, open up the gate here so that uh, this thing would slide in. This is the, the sail track, and it comes on a big roll, so you got to have enough th open throat to get this thing up all the way off that roll. Uh, what we got here is lateral movement side to side. So the width... The width of the T is too narrow, and also the in and out measurement. This thing moves in and out as well. So what I'm trying to do is figure out how far, what difference there is, as well as once I get uh, from Tides Marine that set of measuring discs, I'm going to double check and verify. It needs to be 0.05 wider, a little less, 44 hundredths. So that would, that would tighten it up and still give enough slide width-wise. So add 44 hundredths to that. Another 35 thousandths bigger would be not bad. See that? This, this wire is 44 thousandths of an inch thick. And it fits right in there. That'll take up this lateral movement as well as the in and out movement. So the sample piece from Tides Marine was an A4 profile and they come lettered and numbered so each one corresponds to a little segment on the disc. Oh no, 1.12 millimeters. Add that to both, both dimensions and the track should fit a little bit better because when the sail's under load you don't want it doing that back and forth or in and out. It'll eventually wear out this section. Pizza delivery for SV Ramble On. Hello? Anyone? So today we got our strong track delivered. Now it's time to stick it in the mass slot. It comes with a pre-cut piece of track and a little slide. And from the instructions that I read, you're supposed to send this slide up the mast before you install and cut loose the track. This here is the end stop kit. That's what goes at the bottom. That's what keeps the sail from falling all the way out when you drop all the hardware. This thing comes with a little installation tool. I had to make my own installation tool when we got the sail made. And it's basically the same thing. It's a piece of 3 16 inch rod uh, sharpened on one end, it's for feeding it through the, on the luff of the sail. Hardware fits through here. And they even sent me an extra set of measuring discs to gauge the slot track. So what you're supposed to do first is uh, take this little piece of track section they send you with a ring and everything on it. And you're supposed to hook it to a halyard with a retrieval line and run that thing up and make sure that it fits so I got the main halyard hooked up. Let's haul it up. All right, so it's Everything seems to fit. 
So just to make this a little easier, I went ahead and pulled the gooseneck and pulled the gooseneck fitting and dropped the boom down onto the deck. Now we just gotta cut the cut the zip ties and start feeding it in. Hopefully it fits. So here's the roll of track. This is the top, and it says send it, snip a couple of zip ties and send this thing up, and then cut them as you go. Boy, that's tight. So I got to take the whole gooseneck fitting off the mast in order to slide this track up. PVC isolation tape on the gooseneck fitting. So let's try this again. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm just about there. Grab a pair of binoculars and check make sure I'm at the masthead. So you don't want to cut off this end if it's too long. And you always measure a little bit long. What you want to do now is pull the whole thing out, figure out how far I am down to the gooseneck plate. Right there, that dirty mark on the mast. Pull it all back down and cut that off the top. So now you can see they cut the back side of the track. They cut this groove for the, the luff slides to fit up in here. So now I want this thing to be right at the bottom of here. About three and a quarter, three and a quarter inches. So now I gotta pull the whole thing out, measure three and a quarter inches off the top and cut it and then slide it all back in. What I need to do is take three and a quarter off the top, bevel it, and then drill the hole for the cross pin. So. All right, so that's the new end piece, or the new, that's the new top of the masthead. The next thing I need to do is duplicate that hole through here. That's the stop pin for the top of the track. All right, let's stick this thing back up and see if it fits. Gooseneck fitting's back on. The track is right where it needs to be. Bottom's out right here at the gooseneck. But this thing comes with some little slot toggle T-bolt things. And they give you these little broken off, cut off stubs of screw. And what you do, slide it down the track. That lines up with the holes. Two holes down here and two holes up here. And those correspond with the two holes that are threaded in, that lock it into the track. And that'll bolt this track down tight to the mast. So you pull this one tight, then install the bottom screw. So I got one. Tighten them both down. So you can see now, you got the two screws in here, and then just take these out. Those were the placeholders, and then install the last two screws. So this is one of the slugs that goes up the slot. I got the halyard hooked up and a retrieval line. So when this thing's loaded up with the weight of the sail, this thing's gonna drop like a freaking rock. So that's hitting the stop pin that I had to reinstall after I cut the end of the track off. All right, last thing to do is put this thing back on. Put the clevis pin in. That's the stop plate. Once you feed up all the slugs and get the sail stacked, this plate goes on, keeps them from spilling out the gate mouth. Done deal. All right, so that's about it for installing the strong track. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.